controversy about another smelly subject, a putrid visiting rock and roll band called Pungent Stench. They call it death metal music. The lyrics, designed to shock, glorify murder and sexual mutilation. The music is in fact banned in Australia. The group's CDs are listed as prohibited imports. But as Lincoln Howes reports tonight, the CDs may be banned, but the band can still perform here live. And they will again this weekend. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Punch and Stench from Austria. Red to the red, smash, make it on it now, turn out. Welcome to the world of death metal music. A world of mayhem, murder, and sexual mutilation. It's all in the music, and the fans lap it up. It's another side of humanity that people don't like to accept, but it's there. They sing about real life issues, murder, serial killers. That's what's going on in the world. Everyone should know. The band is Pungent Stench, currently on a national tour of Australia, feeding local fans a strict diet of death and destruction. Wow. We have a lot of fun doing lyrics like this. <laughs> We have a lot of fun reading books like this. We have a lot of fun seeing films like that. And uh, the worse it gets, the sicker it gets, the more love I have, you know what I mean? But Australian censors don't share pungent stench's sense of humour. The very music being dished out live to local audiences was banned less than six months ago when released on this album, Been Caught Buttering, featuring rotten corpses kissing on the cover. The content of, of the lyric sheets of some of these songs dealt with um, sexual violence, mutilation, torture of women. Customs officials raided music stores in Canberra, Melbourne and Wollongong and seized it and other death metal albums. It really glorifies uh, sexual violence and that could be anything to do with, uh, say, rape. In the case of some recent CDs we seized, they'd go as far as cannibalism. So we're talking about things that really basically are totally offensive. On their current Australian tour, Pungent Stench perform most of the songs from their band album. They argue that at a live performance, the offensive lyrics are virtually indecipherable. But when we attended last night's gig here in Sydney's Inner West, young fans were singing along to every word. Songs like Happy Rebirthday, in which a teenager mutilates his own mother. Slowly I dissect her torso with my fingernails. Gluttonous, I start to eat her flesh and entrails. It's a very nice rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got probably a bad taste for you guys, but first, all our people who listen to our stuff like that stuff, so got the, they got like kind of same bad taste. It's ridiculous that a band's CDs and records are banned in Australia, yet they're able to appear live. That's a, that's a, a chronic anomaly in the law that has to be uh, cured. New South Wales Shadow Attorney General Paul Whelan has called on the State Police Minister to investigate how pungent stench were able to appear. If the censor says that they should be banned, then surely they have to be banned from live performances. The band, who hail from Vienna, are angry about their album's Australian censorship, the only country in which it was banned. They deny claims their message of death can influence young minds. It will never happen, I'm sure, because nobody will say, yeah, I just killed three people because I heard Punch and Stench. I mean... That won't happen? That won't happen. My father buys every record and plays it to his friends. His brother, anyway. He don't cares about the lyrics or the cover artwork. It's just music. For him, it's... And the reason to be proud of his son. In any case, fans say the ban had little effect. Pirate copies of the album are readily available throughout the country. Censorship, it's too harsh. Most of the things that I've heard on these albums, I see on TV anyway, on the news. Dead people, it's, it's what's going on. It's what everyone wants to hear. Because it's sick. Aren't they? Who cares? If sick people want to get off on sick music, it's all right. The band will... Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. 
No, I reckon they shouldn't be there. What for? Yeah. The music's music, my rotten flesh. Pungent stench ends its assault on Australian shores this weekend, but are set to taunt our senses again with the release of a new album in November. Does it contain similar sort of stuff? Uh, yeah. Even worse. And a warning for Brisbane parents tonight, Pungent Stench are putting on a matinee performance for fans under 18 tomorrow. So I guess you've been warned. I was there one day 